G'day fellas and welcome back to the latest episode of Men of Lords, taking on the hardest difficulty. Now, when we started out with this challenge, we set both the scenario and the difficulty to the highest possible level. But it's important to keep in mind what our win condition is here. You can choose what your win condition is, but we've just gone with the default one. Now, there's a number of different ones available to you. As an example, you can have Conquest, where you take every single one of these lands and then you win. Uh, on top of that, there is the Growth one. And that's the default setting that we've actually got here. So it's important that we keep that in mind moving forward. Because while it's important for us to move out and expand, it's also important for us to grow. So that's what we're, what we're going to be focusing on doing in this version or in, the, in this episode here. What I want to do is I want to expand into this territory here because we need a more reasonable avenue of barley. We don't have enough barley and I need more beer for my people. And unfortunately, just importing it, it it's reasonable, that works, but I want something even more reasonable. So we're going to lay claim to the territory in the north. But to start off, hold on. We've sighted another bandit camp. Where are they? It's all right. They're up in the north. Not, not too much to worry about. At least not now. But what we're going to do is we're going to clear out this bandit camp from the middle. Uh, as, as well as lay down a claim uh, in, this, in this territory. The resource that we're after. It's not wild animals. It's not berries. It's not clay. It's not iron. It's not stone. No. It is fertile ground for our barley barley and we've got ourselves to have a look at the size of this right here i don't know how we can't actually put our point down just yet but i tell you what we're, we're gonna i think we're gonna set up camp right here this is this is looking like a nice little spot uh but uh let's start off we're, get, we're gonna go clear out those outlaws first and i think we're gonna bring absolutely everybody to the party so let's get on down there we'll start off by bringing our army uh we're going to actually they're still running back aren't they I just realized our army is still running back. This is it. This is how in the zone I am right now. Are you guys, are you guys coming over? What are you, what you doing? If we get them over this river, I think we should be fine, right? We can just disband them immediately. So now I, now I can just go disband because we're inside. Aren't we inside the home region now? Right? Right, guys? Or do I have to reselect them? Yeah, there we go. Disband unit. Cool. They're vanished into, into the town. And we're going to call them out straight away. We're going to be like, all right, guys, let's let's go. Uh, we, we got ourselves... Look at that. They're full. They're full on the fatigue again. Or they're, they're out. their fatigue is non-existent. Wonderful. Let's go. We got more attack. Dude, look how quick the retinue... I think the retinue really just operate as a defensive force. Not so much as an offensive force. So they lose their fatigue really quickly. I, I guess compared... You know, you'd think for people that are just training all day that they would have a little bit more stamina than that. So, yeah. Anyway... Uh, let's think about what's going on behind this, though. At the moment, we've got a decent amount built up here. We're not chopping any firewood, but one of the things we are doing is we are turning all of that firewood into charcoal, which is going to last a little bit longer at the moment. We're still working on it, so I'm confident that we're going to have plenty of fuel to get through the winter when it does eventually come, though. Keep in mind, we did just quite literally get out of it, uh, and we're now heading into summer shortly. When it comes to food, uh, we could probably throw a couple more out here over on the berry bushes. And let's take a look at deer. Deer is doing absolutely fine. We've just got one person on deer. We've got a lot of meat. So I'm just going to let our deer population regrow. Uh, when it comes to our hides, we've only got four hides. So maybe it's a good idea to stick. We've got one person in the tannery. You know what? I'm throwing one back on the hunting camp just because we need a little bit more. They seem to be really heavily targeted by the bandits whenever they come through. Uh, let's let's move forward, though. We've got ourselves quite the force now that's beginning to build up. Obviously, it's a defensive force, but... Uh, well, it can be used pretty well for an offensive force as well. And in this situation, let's take a look at the lay of the land. I'm just going to move in from this side. Let's get ourselves a nice little break like that. And with the retinue, we're going to move behind. Do we go into the trees hiding out with the retinue? They're kind of moving towards the retinue, aren't they? Let's bait them over this way then. They definitely seem... Yeah, you can see that they're intent... They're, they're focused on the retinue. So retinue... Let's move them up the hill maybe. Maybe that's the play. See if we can force an engagement. We want to stand our ground. Gives us a defensive bonus. 101% effectiveness. Retinue have got 0% fatigue or 12% effectiveness right now. They have fatigued out the wazoo. And now we hold our ground behind this. The retinue make their way through. 
And I think we just come in and charge from the behind, like behind from the top side. I think that makes the most sense here. Look at the retinue, dude. They're so slow, man. They're, they're, you guys get real. You guys are getting real tucking, aren't you? Let's let's go a little bit more out, and then we'll come down. All right, there we go. Uh, looks like we've already lost a couple. Actually, I don't know how many we had. I think we did have 36, but I don't know whether we had... No, we had 34. We started with 34, and we still got 34. Retinue now coming in. Remember, these guys are these guys are haggard at the moment. They have absolutely had it. But we're pushing back the enemy. And now we, we, will, we will take this bandit camp. Jeez, these guys are fighting on until the end. There we go. Did we take any losses? No losses at all. All right, Retinue, you guys can return back home. I, I, I appreciate you guys have had a, a, a long day out here. You know, training 24-7 for the inevitable battle that happens. And then when it happens, you're just like, oh, I, I pulled a hammy. Sorry, guys. We, we're going to clear out this bandit camp, though. And ooh, this is belonging to our treasury. That is for sure. 113 in the bank. You know what that means? That means we're going to fill out the last of our, uh, the last of our retinue. But it also means that now we're going to lay claim to the north. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to go under administration and I'm going to hit this settlers camp and I'm going to decide where we put this settlers camp. Wait, we really can't afford it? Oh, it's 250. Well, you know what that means. If we need 250 to settle it, I think we start taxes as well. We're at 55% at the moment. We, should, we shouldn't have spent our previous resources. We should have saved them, but I guess we can just go clear more bandit camps. We've cleared this one over here. If we need 250, then maybe we clear a big one over this side. Do we just... Maybe we head north. I reckon this one... This one looks pretty good. Let's let's go take that one. Alright. This is going to be quick. That's what they always say. I'm kind of fearful of, of going so far away from home though. You know what? Let's just, let's just go for this one. Just keep it simple. We need to keep in mind the fact that our enemy could attack us at any moment as well. The retinue will be able to defend. That is for sure. What's going on over here? Oh, we're just on 1x movement speed. We need to be on 3x movement speed. Going, going through a a town that was that once was. All right, so our resources, they're going fine. We're still pumping the fuel into charcoal. Oh, we have mercenaries that we could think about as well. Now, we can lay claim. Hold on, how do I go about claiming this area? Do I just... Do I just do this? Yes, I do. We're now claiming the north. All right. So we're claiming the north, but that's different from settling it. I guess, though, technically, we could probably just run a road up there, right? Surely that would work. I, I don't know if that would work, actually. Dude, look at this. Okay. We're surrounded by trees. Oh, they're actually coming out. What's, what is the lay of the land here? They're also surrounded by trees. And it's right... Oh, this is, this is not going to be a good fight. This is not going to be a good fight. We do have the numbers, though. I will say that much. What's... It feels like this this could be okay. Probably fighting slightly uphill. Let's try and match them. Just try and get as much uphill advantage as we possibly can. Alright. I'm liking this. And I think we just stand our ground in here. Soldiers try to stand their ground. Defense is doubled, but attack frequency is halved. Alright, so we're going to stand and fight. The enemy is right here. So they're going to charge into us. And the moment that they do, that's when we will then look to push down upon them. All right. I'm liking this spot. This is good. All I see are some trees. And now I hear the screams. Maggots. Get them. Take them out. Dude, look at the, the shields are so good. Oh, that is so good, dude. That, I will never get tired of seeing that. And now that we've, we've started the fight, I'm going to go into a balanced stance. No, let's go for a push forward stance. Let's look to push them forward. We've got a number advantage here. So the more we can get in there and, you know, push them forward, I think that, that works. Because it means that people in the back are actually going to be able to get a couple more stabs in. We've got the pole arms, remember? I like the fact that we're on the back line cheering. This 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 would be me. I'm the yellow guy at the back here. Look at him. He's, he's cheering everybody on. This the highlight reel right here. Like, yeah, get him, guys. Yeah, good stuff. Yeah, give him a stab or two. Keep on, keep on stabbing. Dude, we got good numbers here, and we got helmets. That's the other thing to remember. This guy's got a helmet at the front, but I don't know. It feels like he's kind of just taken a, a fruit bowl and thrown it on his head with a little bit of metal over the top of it. Not a whole not a whole lot there. Nice little defense coming in from our man at the front here. We've taken out another one, and whoa, somebody censor that. Look away, children. Whew. 
And we've taken them out. That's going to be it. We finished them off. Our Polearm Militia has another victory under its belt, but we did lose quite a few men today. We lost four men. Uh, that, that is unfortunate, but it is necessary because we need to add more tokens to the treasury, ladies and gentlemen. It is time for us to claim this land. It's time for us to settle this land, and eventually it will be time. Let's go, and this belongs to my treasury. 267. Perfect. We've got just enough now. So I'm going to... I'm going to bring these guys back into our territory. We'll disband them, and we will focus on expanding now. So now that we've we've claimed this region in the north, we'll look to expand there. Uh, now, speaking of expansion, I think we probably want to throw down a couple more Burgage plots. Uh, we could actually just look to expand the living space, though. So let's go ahead and do that. Is there... That looks like we can expand it, but... Never mind, it's already, already been expanded expanded and we've claimed our region so now that we've claimed the region i'm gonna go ahead and construct a settlers camp exactly where we want it now where do we want to put this bad boy we probably want it quite close uh now you can see that we start off with only a modest amount of supplies here that's all we can afford wow you can you can settle as a mining village that's kind of wild town farming village forest village mining village and you could choose how many starting supplies you want depending on how much you want to pay. But uh, this is this is reasonable. Let's start off with this. All right, so we've purchased and we've got our supplies. Now, just keep in mind, we've done this at the right time. Gosh, I, shouldn't have, I wouldn't have wanted to do that in winter. Storage down. Granary down. High priority. High priority. Let's go. Oh. <sighs> I tell you what, I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited. We, we've expanded off into new lands right here. So these are our high priorities. We've also got a hitching post over here. Uh, we have 50 regional wealth in here as well. Uh, so let's think about the food aspect. We're probably going to move into... I think berries are, are going to be reasonable. What's the date? We're in May, which is spring. So I think berries are 100% fine here to go into. So let's do that. It is a rich deposit as well. So we want to try and take advantage of that where possible. So let's go with that one right there. And let's draw something like that of a road. I think this is our storage pit. It is. That's our storehouse. Uh, so let's add in a second road to where we actually want to take these, which is out over here. The granary. Now, remember, this is going to be acting as a satellite, right? Like, we, we don't want to build this up to become a, a metropolitan area. This is just a satellite little mining town that where they actually mine barley because we need alcohol. We're alcoholics back home. We need more barley. So that's why this expansion is going to be happening. Uh, so we've got food looked after. The next thing that we're going to need to look after is going to be wood. So let's not forget that. Now, we've got lots of wood in here, uh, but I'm going to go ahead and take... I feel like we could probably just plant it down right here. We, we want to avoid stomping trees. <laughs> Jeez, it's not real possible when the, the forests are this dense. We'll just do it. We'll go right here. I think that's going to be absolutely fine. And that's going to be our starting area. Uh, and then we're going to want to move into... Uh, after we've done that, so let's put some people in the storehouse so that we don't lose out these resources. Speed it up a little bit. We'll throw somebody in the granary as well. So we'll do two in here. And we'll also put in... A marketplace. So I think we can go with... Oh, see, this is where it gets tough because we want to put our marketplace right here. Uh, we don't need to put it in right now, though. Uh, so, pantry is full. Forager hut. That is for our home. Uh, so this is where we need our granary. Do we do we not have people in the granary? We do have people in the granary. You, you want to do your job there, buddy? What's going on? Get your, get your little wheel cart out. Your cartwheel out. Don't, don't be doing cartwheels. I don't, I, don't, I don't want injuries here. All right, and back towards base. So it looks like we've got a couple of idle vills. You guys want to explain yourself? Oh, you got you guys are... Okay, I you, you explained yourself. Thank you. Uh, really? 14 bread? Do we not have more bread? Was it just 14? Is that all you guys have got? Hey, you. No slacking off. Oi, I'm not slacking off, mate. I'm, I'm trying my best right here. I'm... I'm, I'm doing I'm doing a, a playthrough of Manor Lords, and I'm having a lot of fun doing it. I tell you what, we, we, we're having a lot of fun playing Manor Lords. I'm really looking forward to doing more of these Manor Lords series. This is, I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm, I'm loving this one as well, but there's just something special about rolling a new start. I don't know about you, but I, I tell you what, man, th there is something addictive about being like, okay, this time I'm going to nail it. And then, then you do it, and you're like, okay, okay, this time I'm going to nail it. And then it happens again, and you, you, just, you just can't stop yourself. You just keep going. I know, I know I'm that way. Now, let's quickly just check in. 
with our... Oh, gosh, that's beautiful, isn't it? Bali. Okay, it's right here. It's right here. This is where I wanted to build the houses. You know what we're going to do? Instead of building the houses right here, we're going to go ahead and build a field right here. So I'm going to build... I wish I could build that more... You know what? Let's, let's make it really ugly. But... Such is life. I don't actually know how these stars work. Dude, that... that is our field too big? No. 4.9 Morgan. That's that's bad news. <laughs> that, that's as high as that's that's the, that's the highest that it goes. It doesn't go any higher than 4.9 Morgan. <laughs> what, what's the actual scale for um for or the, the measurement point that they use for uh, radiation? Uh, Rotgen, Rotgen, <laughs> 3.2. Uh, that that was a good TV show. Uh, all right, let's get ourselves some logging camps online. Um, this one, of course, is going to be barley. 53%. Uh, I don't actually know how the crop system works yet with like crop rotation and stuff. So crop rotation triggers after the harvest season ends. Keeping the field fallow regenerates the most fertility. So I think we probably just want to like exhaust the fertility and then make it fallow afterwards. I feel like that would be the make the most sense. Uh, we're not going to do it this year because uh, we need to build houses and stuff like that. Uh, and speaking of building houses, we've also got the forager camp that we're going to need to do. So let's go ahead and do that. So we finished our forager hut. So I'm going to stick two people in the forager hut. Actually, let's put two people in the logging camp. One person in the forager hut. And we're going to start on our houses. So, how are we doing on houses? We've only got one timber. Uh, oh, we need stalls. Okay, thank you. Thank you for reminding me. Market stalls. Let's go. I know I said it wasn't going to be... It was just going to be a satellite location. But, uh, you know, you start off on a Monday thinking it's going to be a small project. And by Thursday, you're like, okay, I, I can see how we spent $12,000 doing this last time. It all makes sense. Uh, oddly specific. We lost 10 tools, 6 bread. I'm not fussed. You know why? We can replace it. It's replaceable. What's not replaceable though? It's the lives of our men. Our men right here. So let's disband this unit. They're inside our territory now. We'll bring them back. They, I'll be honest, they are replaceable. <laughs> That's why we sent them. Uh, they are replaceable. Alright. Uh, retinue. Can't add any more. But you know what we can do here? I'm thinking about taxing our people. Maybe taxing them's the wrong idea. What are we spending our resources on right now, actually? Don't tell me we're still buying weapons. We're not. Okay. Oh, we do have helmets. Hold on. Okay. Let's cancel this one. Add in new polar militia. We have 36 helmets. So let's go ahead and export our existing helmets. We don't need any more helmets. So I'm going to export the helmets. I need zero helmets. On top of that... Pole arms. We don't have any pole arms. So that's fine. Uh, and we don't have any other existing trades here. Shoes, we're exporting. We've got 62 shoes. We do have a trade route. For some reason, and we got 45 tools. Why are these guys not buying my tools and my shoes? And let's get our ale online right now. We, we Let's pump this bad boy up to 20. Because we, we should be... How, I wonder why we're not selling them. Wait, is trade actually balanced? Did, did they actually balance trade and they just didn't tell us that you can't sell infinite pairs of shoes to random traders that are just like, oh, you, you've got 46 pairs of shoes. Uh, sure, of course I, I want these shoes. Maybe they actually fixed it. It'd be cool if they labeled what each of these traders had on them, though. It would be nice to, to be able to see that. Uh, let's double check all of the rest of our trade. As this music just goes absolutely ham. Uh, we could trade in our roof- Dude, roof tiles. Dude, roof tiles. We gotta get into the roof tile game. Have a look at this. Dude. Can we get some more regional wealth? Just- I just want two more to set up my- my roof tile, uh, industry. That's all I require. Is there anything- any- any way I can- I don't think I can gain any more regional wealth at the moment. That- that's gonna be an- oh, phew, hello. That's gonna be an idea. Alright, uh, how are we doing up here? Looks like we've managed to get eight timber online. That's decent. Let's, that's a good start. Let's, let's do that. So we're going to build our houses out in this direction here. So I need, I want eight houses. And I want them to be double stacked. Perfect. I am so good at double stacking right there. I feel like I'm... You, you ever been to KFC and got the, the Zinger stacker? Oh my god, the Zinger stacker? Far out. That, you you want to talk about like a tier for burgers? Or like a, a starter tier list for burgers? The Zinger stacker is S tier. Don't even... Just... Just... A band of raiders! Enemy units have been spotted near... You can haul... Wait... Hold on. They can't already be here. They can't already be here. 
They're right here. They're right here. Assemble! Rally. Rally to the deer. Where do we want to fight this? Hold on. Let's just get a look, look at the lay of the land. It's pretty flat, isn't it? And I suspect from the angle that they're probably going to try and come through here. So let's see if we can bait them out over onto the road just so that we can actually get some vision here. I'm going to rally as well all of these gentlemen. Actually, oh, I can't cancel their rally point now. I kind of want to add it. I wanted to add to them, but we've only got 30 pole arms. So I don't think we can add, get any more out there. Oh, it's a big one. Oh, it's a big one. Look, 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 look. Oh, oh, they're torching. They got their torches out. They, they, they're trying to, they're going to set things on fire. What are they going to set on fire? They're going to set the forager hut on fire. All right, let's go meet them in battle for victory. Uh, guys? You guys, you, retinue, would you guys like to attend today? Uh, th this is a decent sized battle and I would prefer that you do come. Okay, I think because the retinue have been called, they're like, okay, we will meet the retinue and we will fight. You could see before they were like intent on torching, whereas now they're kind of like, okay, we'll fight, we'll fight. What's up? Do we just, like, do we man fight them right now? This is something I do in Age of Empires 4, where I'm like, okay, I am just going to fight you straight down the middle. No two ways about it. I'm not going to flank you. I'm just going to fight you man on man, and we're going to punch each other in the face until one of us falls over. That's what I think we do. Go out of here, Retinue. Don't tell them. Don't tell them, Retinue. <laughs> now, the problem is with the Retinue, I feel like they lock onto the Retinue. Do we walk these guys in? I feel like we we should walk these guys in. Like, be a gentleman here, King. Okay. Well, okay. Guys, let me explain you a, to you a couple of things about my city. When you come to my town, the beautiful town of Eunuch. Dude, the train... <laughs> the train is just fucking gone, dude. Look at him go. He's like, fucking out of here, dude. Dude, they're going to scare off all of my traders. Look at this. Look at this. Let's, let's get out of the way. John, look out, there. there's there's bandits coming, John. <laughs> the horse gets on out. Look, what about this guy? Oh yeah, Steven, Steven. Ah, oh, run. <laughs> look at him go, dude, look at the legs. Oh, it's amazing. The horses don't nearly, don't do it nearly as much as they should. Oh, dude, did you see Steven and his little legs go, dude? It was like, it was like a, a, a movie or something or a cartoon. All right, we, we've brought you in close enough here. I'm going to need to command my retinue to flank uh, retinue. Where are you guys at? Oh god, Retinue, you're a little bit far. Get over here quickly. Oh, Retinue! Oh my- Dude! Now I know where all my beer's been going. The bloody Retinue, dude. They're just absolutely eating it. We're gonna stand our ground. Stand and fight, indeed. We're hiding in the trees. Hiding in the trees. Alright. Oh. Come here. We wanna watch. Attack them from the back. Alright, here we go. That's a fair force that they've brought today, but from behind, the retinue off the top rope. Come on in. Look at the stabby stab they got going on down there. Plenty of it. A little bit of stabs up towards the top. The trader's just going to casually come out here. It looks like, looks like Steven's finally made him his way through, and he's brought himself a horse. Will it be different this time? And no, it will not. Steven runs away. Fortunately, the battle continues to rage on the pole arms brought to the fore. At the same time, the retinue on the back are forcing down. You know what we've got to do? We've got to switch these guys over from defense. We want to push forward. And at the same time, I think we want to push forward here as well. We want to push forward in both directions. Now the stabs are really going to start getting on. Look at this. Wait, wait, wait. John! Wait, why are they all called John? Like, we've got to give him a real name. Like, Le Leroy! Leroy! I, I, I'm 99% sure that was our guy. Leroy got taken out. Was he the first one that got taken out? No, he wasn't. There was... Oh, God. There's, there are losses today. There are losses today. But you know what else there is going to be? There's going to be victory today. I can smell it. I can smell it. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. We've done it. The deer are running for their lives as well. I guess with a horn like that, a burgle. Look, we, dude, we're still killing. We're still killing. We, they, they called the siren. They said, hey, it's full time, guys. You can stop knocking each other out now. But... There, I didn't. I didn't hear no bell. <laughs> we, got, we got. Is it Randy? We got Randy in here. Like I ain't hear no bell. All right. It looks like the second group has also been taken out. We lost. I want to say we lost five militia polearm. That ain't bad. We lost two from our retinue. Uh, that's not bad. That is not bad. I'm. I'm. I'm pretty happy with that. That is a good defense considering how big that army was. 
We're holding on, dude. We are going to be victorious. I can tell it right. Tell you right now. Let's speed this one up a little bit. Man. It feels good to be a medieval gangster. That much is... That much we can say. I want to connect these two. Can I put a road... Oh, I can. I can now put a road over here. Can we get you working over on... I know that there's no one working there right now, but I want you to get these trees cut specifically. All right, let's check in and see how these guys are doing. We, we've been raging on in a battle. Meanwhile, down here at the satellite, everyone's just been, you know, we're, we're getting it together, guys. Don't worry. We're making our houses and working out the this whole... Where did you come from, dits? Where did you come from? That was... That, that felt like it was very far away. Oh, well, I guess it is kind of far away. I guess once we've set up these houses, we'll be fine. So let's go ahead and get these houses set up. Oh, I just realized. You know what we don't have in this region? Uh, they're going to be a little bit sad, right? Because we won't have approval here because the houses are up. But we don't have... We have berries. Okay. Is this where we trade? Okay. I'm going to show you how to trade between regions. So we go into trade here. And we want to set up a... Hmm, that's not what we want, is it? No, that's not what we want. What do we want here? Industry? Cosmetic? Administration. There's a building that you need. I want to say it's logistics. It is logistics. It's called a pack station. Use this building to set up a barter connection, allowing you to send and receive goods between this and another region in your command. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put this bad boy down right here. And I'm going to put that bad boy on the highest of priorities I'm also going to set one up in this region here as well let's add one in here and I'm going to put that on the highest of priorities as well we've got one unemployed or one unassigned person to, to do that uh, meanwhile we are slowly putting these bodies into the ditch we want to try and do this as quickly as possible just because remember that uh, unburied bodies will unfortunately lower that down oh, oh my god dude <laughs> hold on pause 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 we got. We got to get us. What we want to trade something, right? There's something in here that I want to trade, and I want to trade it big. It's not iron slabs. Commodities. Did did someone buy all of our shoes? We bought. We're buying ale, dude. We're out here selling tools. What was it? There was there was something that I wanted to really do. I wanted to set up a ah the roof tile game. That's right. Wait, no. We're gonna need roof tiles. We need roof tiles for level three. Level 3 requires roof tiles. And we need like 10 sets of roof tiles. So I'm, I'm going to keep those roof tiles. Even though technically I could sell them now. And then just buy them later. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. We're in the roof tile game, baby. Alright. We've finished work on the construction or the packs. So, that's the storehouse. Pack station. So, let's order a mule. After placing an order, a livestock merchant will come to your town and deliver the animals. Orders can be placed once a month per region. For more frequent trading, build a livestock trader. So I'm going to order a mule. And I'm going to go to Wardbrand. And I am going to send... What am I going to send? I'm going to send leather. And in return, I ask that you bring me back... Or you give me back berries. Because we know that they're going to have berries. Because they've got that excess berries. I don't know what the barter value means. Oh, here. When moving things between the region, the exchange value of goods needs to match. For instance, if you exchange iron at, let's say, 14 per silver, or for firewood at 7 per silver, the barter value is 2x. You get 2 firewood for every iron. So here, I think what it's saying is that I get one leather for every two berries. I would assume that that is. That, that's what that is. Rather than I get two leather for every berry. Because that, that doesn't seem like a good deal. Like Here, I, I've just skinned two venison or two deer uh would you like to trade th this skin that i spent 17 hours doing for a single berry uh, okay i guess I, I, I guess that works for me meanwhile on the other side let's check in and see how we're doing here at the pack station ordering a mule i don't know if we need to order the mule uh and so i think we can just set up the same trade here so I'm going to send berries and I'm going to receive leather. Now, the reason I'm doing this is because I could just like quite literally set up wild animals here, but we want to use the mechanics, right? Like we, we want to be, we want to be cool little traders. And we're also going to need this later anyway, because we are going to be putting some barley in this field shortly. We're going to need to plow what it's not going to be this season. It'll be next season that we do it. Uh, but in the meantime, we're going to be setting up our residential lots. You can see right now we're up to 18 timber, 18 timber. You don't need 18 timber. That's 18 timber too many, my friends. That is a lot of timber. Is, we're gonna, you're going to take me all the way to Timber 2. 
Tim... Uh, that, that joke did not land. It was, it was meant to be like Timbuktu, but it just... Yeah. It, it, it didn't work. <laughs> that did not work. All right. Our income is decent. I'm liking this position. We do need to replace the men in our militia. We've got 25 out of 36. If I hit this button now, does that bring them back? No, it doesn't. Let's get more pole arms in. I don't, I don't like it that I lose the pole arms of the men who have gone before. Maybe you know what we go into? You know what I'm feeling? Archers, dude. Let's go into archers. We 100% have to go into archers. Can we create like a separate... Okay. All right. Are they... Do they share? It looks like they're sharing helmets. We've got 19 over here and then 19 here. So I'm assuming that they only equip them once they come online. Maybe that's the play. Anyway, we're going to need to make bows. And to make bows, we're going to need more than just headsets. We are going to need ourselves level 2 burgage plot. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm kind of thinking maybe we should double stack the bows. And then... Because we can always sell them later as well. So the more people that we've got doing it, the better. Wait, did we just lose market supply just right then? Yeah, we did too. There's, there's no way, dude. There's no way we don't have market supply. I've got somebody in the granary. I've got two people in the granary. My lord, there's no way you don't have market supply over here of food. Oh, gosh. Oh, what happened? Dude, we, we've got three different options for food, and you're telling me as at level one, you're like, eh, I don't know. I don't know, king. It feels like we don't have enough food around these parts to justify going up to level two. At least one type of food supplied on the marketplace. At least one type of food supplied. What, are, you, are you on the wrong market? You go into this one over here, the secondary one. You're like, oh, there's one. Dude, there's, 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 there's literally, there's, <laughs> don't tell me there's not enough food variety over here. You got so much, so much food variety. I wish I had that much food variety. The only thing I got in my house is bloody sourdough. I'm not complaining. I'm just saying. Like that's, that's, that's a lot of variety that you got over there. All right, let's check in. And, and by the way, just just trust me. I'm not complaining. I, I absolutely love it. My my wife, uh, she is just... The, the last couple of weeks, she's just been like studying the dough and uh, and working on, <laughs> on sourdough. She's like, I will make the perfect sourdough. And, uh, and she's slowly getting there. She's getting there. She's going through the folds and the fermentation. And uh, what was she doing? She's checking on her starters. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's so sweet. But I tell you what, that is, that's some, that's some good bread. That is S tier bread. Now talking about S tier and, and food. All right. Well, we've got all, speaking of uh, S tiers, we've got all of our S tier houses up here. Our burgage plots have come online. I'm going to go through and put a little bit more. What do we need here for these guys? Actually, we do need a church for these guys. Uh, let's go ahead and do that. We could just import the planks. See, this is the problem where it's like, I just want to, I just want to send 20 planks across. And I can't really do that. Like, I actually have to just start planking out here for real. So I'm going to go throw down a saw pit. Bit of an awkward location. It's right here in the middle of middle of town. Uh, but I think we've got everything that we need right here. We do have growth coming through. Still technically homeless pit or homeless people, I think. Actually, no, we don't because they, they move in the moment that you do that. Wait, family left town? No way. Ain't no way, dude. Homelessness? Not enough food variety? Food stall is out here. Oh, we got nobody in the storehouse. We got no one in the storehouse. Quickly, storehouse guy. Oh, we can't be we can't be losing people here. Dude, we're down to 20%? What are we getting hit with right now? No church. Cloth not enough cloth. Dude, it's it's quite literally like starting brand new. Except you're not. You're starting. Oh, this is terrible. This is actually terrible. No, 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 no. Not like this. We've got three families remaining. Look at this. We're down to 13%, dude. Homelessness, not enough food variety. What do you mean not enough food variety? You need, berries are perfectly fine. Dude, you would think that it would be easy just to set this up, right? Like, and, and this is the part I, I will say. Like, it's, it's nice starting with, what was it, like 20... Wait, where did our bread go? We started with like 20 bread, didn't we? There's no way we ate 20 bread already. Like, you, you're hiding it in your freaking houses or something. I, I, I'm sorry, there's n Where is our 20 bread? Did we get robbed of our bread? <gasps> I don't think that's our bread. No, that must be our bread. No, we could have bought that bread off the market. 
Oh, this is, this is tough, dude. So now, now this one zone, how do I make people happy if there's nobody here to work? Okay, there we go. Okay, okay, we're up. We're back up to 36%. And immediately people are like, nah, this is shit. Dude, this is, this is absolutely trashed here. You know, the worst part is like, I know that the one guy in here who's like, yeah, there's not enough fuel on the marketplace is the guy that should be putting the fuel on the marketplace. Like, d don't be mad at me, dude. Be mad at yourself. Don't be mad at me. I'm, I'm the, I support fuel on the marketplace. I, I, food stall abandoned? Okay, we, we just got to get people out here. No unassigned families to guide the ox. Bro, that's because we got no families. Everybody's gone, man. Everyone's left. They've gone to the big smoke. Everybody's m migrated back home to, to Eichenhau. Or, yeah, Eichenhau. That's that's the name of it. Corpse pit. Let's pull these guys out. Uh, no no work. No one assigned for the saw pit. Well, look, saw pit's going to take a while. Unassigned families are needed for construction. Look, mate, if, if we can... We need to get the church. So, oh, this is tough. So we need leather. Do we have leather? I don't even know if we have leather. That's the thing. We don't have leather. Did I make the wrong decision opening onto berries rather than just going onto deer? Maybe I should have gone onto deer just so we could get hides tannery into leather. Maybe that was the play. Opening berries was the incorrect choice here. Perhaps that that is accurate. Still not enough fuel on the marketplace. Like, I, I don't know what is going on with you and and your inability to throw your firewood onto the marketplace, sir, but I would encourage you to please do that. Who, who, who are you? Where are you? Dits, you're waiting. This is your home. This is your workplace. Where, where are you? The fuck are you doing, Dits? Reassign family to a different workplace? Can I assign you? Can I assign you to the fucking corpse pit? Dits, what the hell is wrong with you, Dits? Oh my lord. Dits, don't do me like this, Dits. What do we got here? No farmhouse. Well, that's all right. Farmhouse is a little bit later, my friend. We, we, need, to, we need to work on Dits at the moment. What if I put... Wait, family reassigned successfully. Uh, what if I put... The food stall has been abandoned. I think we definitely needed to open venison here. Disapproval's coming down. Like, do we do we just give up on this outpost? Was this outpost a failure? Are we just destined right now to never have beer? Is there anywhere else that we can get beer? Bali? Nope. Here? Not here. We can do it over here. So we could look to expand out here. We could also look to expand to this northern position. I mean, at this at this rate, let's go and expand over to France and, and get our, our barley from there. This was perfect for us. Wait, what if we just send a new settlement? A new settler's camp. Oh, we need 250. And it also must be placed in a non-settled region underscore. Look at them giving me a down vote, dude. Oh, this, this is tough. I can't believe we're losing in a game that we're winning. <laughs> oh, no. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to leave it here. I'm going to go cry in my... Uh, in my ale soap socks. Uh, I tell you what, this is this is a beautiful game, but sometimes I pull my hair out and think to myself, what what is going on here? Dits? You're a little bit ditzy. We'll say that much. Anyway, we're going to leave it here. Hopefully you've enjoyed this episode. I apologize if I get a little bit salty sometimes. I'm uh, I'm not used to doing this, this poorly in my new settlements. Uh, this is the first time we failed, but I've learned a valuable lesson here today. Always start on the venison. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, and we'll catch you guys in the next episode of Men of Lords.